Hey, what's up YouTube? Got another video review for you guys and we're going to step away from the Funko Pops for a little bit and take a look at a new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figure. Um, I found this guy this morning at my local warm Walmart. Totally unexpected. There he was sitting on the shelf. Um, and it's from the new Dimension X line. And we are going to look at Lord Dreg. And you can see down here it says Ruler of Planet Sectoid. So, don't think we've seen him in the new cartoon yet. If we have, I've forgotten. Um, but he looks cool, and I like the new packaging. Uh, it does say Dimension X up uh, here underneath Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and you've got the turtles here in their Dimension X gear, which actually makes for a very nice piece of artwork on the packaging. It's very bright, very colorful, and vibrant. Uh, really stands out on the shelf, too. Uh, so I'm, I'm digging the new packaging. He looks great in the clamshell Take it around here to the back and we're gonna take a look at this and you can see a whole bunch of new figures coming With the Dimension X line you got all the Dimension X turtles Leo, Raph, Mikey, and Donatello You got Savage Mikey's coming. We got Fugitoid Mondo Gecko over here on this side uh, oh, this is Lord Drag. I picked up Mozar as well. We'll take a look at him. And then there's also the Mutant Shredders coming too. So lots of new figures coming out for the TMNT line, which is very cool. Um, the only two that my Walmart had was Lord Drag and Mozar. Didn't have any of the others. So I'm not sure if they're out yet or not. Um, but as soon as I see them, I will grab them too. Uh, here is the bio. If you want to read it, pause it. There it is. Lord Dreg, ruler of planet Sectoid, uh, weapons insect rockets, and team lord of all insect life. So, very cool. So without further ado, let's pull him out of his packaging and take a closer look at Lord Dreg. Alrighty, so here we have Lord Dreg opened up and out of his packaging. Um, and there's some really cool things to this guy. Uh, it's not a whole lot different in terms of what you would expect from a non-Turtles character in this line. But some detailing and paint and stuff is really exceptional on him. Uh, here, take a closer look at him in the head sculpt here. And you can see he's got multiple eyes and you got the mouth here. Nice paint. You got these antenna on the front. You got these mandibles or something here on the side of his head, which actually seem to be move a little bit there too, independently of the head. That's cool. Uh, you got this coming out of the back of his head. I don't know what it is, a horn or something. Uh, very cool. Uh, his body here is actually kind of a clear plastic, it looks, with some nice paint work in there too. You got this green spot on his chest, some purples, and looks like some red or burgundies in there. Uh, the paintwork on the arms, very nice. Got lots of different colors here on his arm. Some nice molded detailing there, very cool. This one's the same. Got some purples and blues and uh, almost, I guess it's orange is kind of what it looks like too. Orange or brownish orange or something. Uh, his legs are kind of a little plain compared to the rest of his body. They're sort of all blue, that blue plastic. Same with these arms here. Uh, coming around to the back and he does have wings but they're folded up. Um, they're a little translucent, translucent green plastic, nice molded detailing in the wings. And we can swing these up, and he has a tail too, which looks nice, but it's all mostly blue. So just a lot of nice detail and paint work, and just a very good looking figure here. Uh, articulation wise, uh, again, these seem to move a little bit on their own, not a whole lot. Uh, the head will rotate a bit, not much either. Arms will rotate back and forth, they'll go in and out, um, and that's it. No elbow joints, no thing at the wrists, which is not unusual for, for this line when it's a non-Turtles character. Uh, these arms will move kind of around a little bit in the circles, so they're kind of on like a limited ball joint maybe. Uh, the legs will go forwards and back, in and out, and that's it. No knees, no ankles, nothing else. Uh, the wings are a little disappointing because, again, they're molded closed. And they don't separate, and all you can really do is sort of spit it one way or the other. So, I mean, I mean, who's going to display it like that? You're going to have it just like that. So that's a little unfortunate, honestly. Um, the tail will rotate. 
however you want it. But you gotta kind of keep it down so you can put the wings on top of it. So, all in all, though, a, a very nice figure. I really do like the way Lord Dreg looks. Uh, some great detailing molded into the into the figures. Nice colors and paintwork on him too. Uh, he does, at least he did until I started moving things, stand fairly well. So, no real issues there. And he's got a good size to him. The arms got a lot of bulk to them. There's a lot of bulk to these arms up here. Um, so, again, I did find him at my local Walmart. So keep an eye out. The Dimension X toys appear like they're going to start hitting shelves here. Um, and if you're into the turtle line again, you're going to want to pick this guy up. It is more of what you would expect from this line in terms of articulation and things. So don't expect something, you know, brand new or revolutionary in terms of the turtle line. It's going to be what we've come to expect. But that said, this is a very nice figure and it's going to look great on the turtle shelf. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this quick look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Dimension X Lord Drag. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel, and as always, I'll see you guys soon.